I've been doing art my whole life. I always was the kid in art class who spent way too long on their projects. And when I started brownies, so this is a while ago, I learned how to do embroidery. So I have been doing embroidery my whole life. I had a career, I raised my family, and once my kids got older, thanks to my husband who bought me printmaking classes, I started to do printmaking. And that was just an eye opener. And that was the first time I'd ever been a part of the art world. And I started to combine my printmaking with my textile work with the embroidery and everything just took off from there. Hi, my name is Dawn Rogel and I work in both printmaking and sculptural textile pieces, which are a little hard to explain, but it involves a lot of wonderful fibers and hand stitching. My work is definitely inspired by nature and my background in natural history. And I love going to museums and looking at their collections. I love wandering on the grounds at the university, going for walks, going out onto the prairie. All of these things really inform my work. But then I'll read an article about cryptids and I realize that I also love unnatural history. So I think, like things that aren't really quite based on reality, that an owl playing chess is as fun as a realistic looking owl. In fact, they're more fun. So none of my work could be said to be realistic or based on nature. It's more based on my idea of nature. And the other thing that inspires me is I have these two amazing kids who have imagination galore. My son loves video games, so he'll come to me with an idea from a video game. And my daughter is doing her master's in geology and she's working on brachiopods. And she, Mom, could you make me a stuffed brachiopod? Well, as soon as I figure out what that is, maybe. So these, they influence me and inspire me all the time because they're just into different things than I am and things that I would never have otherwise discovered. My journey as an artist, thinking about doing this actually as a full-time thing, started when I started printmaking. And I learned a lot about work ethic, about setting up a studio, about getting your work at the galleries. That's when it really started. And I found that just having confidence opened so many doors. So even though I wasn't sure that my work was any good, I was super confident. <laughs> I loved what I was doing and I was super happy to knock on anybody's door and suggest that they carry my work in their gallery. And it's just done me well. The best advice I would give a budding artist is do what you love. Don't think about what will sell. Don't think about critics. Just do what you love and the rest will follow. Because if you're not in love with your art, nobody else is gonna be. And you're gonna be your number one fan, you're gonna be your best advocate, and if you can't sell it, it won't sell. So be true to yourself, enjoy what you do, find joy in every day, in every minute that you spend with your art, and it'll all work out. <laughs>